Welcome everyone to our session. We're Zyflo and I'm Anthony, the co-founder and CEO. And with me, I've got Ryan Dunnigan, our VP of Marketing. For today, Ryan and I will walk you through an industry overview to provide a better understanding of the challenges facing creative teams, best practices that will give you actionable next steps to solve for these challenges, and we'll wrap up with key takeaways so that you can hit the ground running to deliver exceptional creative faster. Let's talk about how creative is the face of every business. It plays a critical role in attracting new customers as well as fostering existing customer relationships. It also sets the brand apart from competitors and visually demonstrates a broader purpose or mission. And when brands and agencies produce great creative, it makes an impact, driving 70% of performance for content. While we understand the critical importance that visuals play for brands, the demand for great creative content is growing. Exactly. There are more channels, more campaigns, and more visuals required than ever before. You, of course, have felt this as a marketer and as well as a consumer. Here's a visual to demonstrate the change in traditional versus modern marketing campaigns. The challenge to reach customers with the right creative at the right time continues to evolve as the number of channels and mediums continues to grow. The need for great creative has expanded beyond the traditional channels like TV, billboard, and print to include digital and video. The spend on digital ad continues to account for 46% of total ad budgets. Maximizing the benefits of digital channels and campaigns is a necessity and curating campaigns across the old and new campaign models requires hundreds if not thousands of assets. In fact, in 2022, it's expected that the consumption of video will make up 82% of all internet traffic. 86% of businesses already use video in their marketing and 91% say the pandemic has made video more important for their brands. Businesses are desperate for their creative content to cut through the noise and they should be. They're competing for the attention in a world where the average person is seeing anywhere from 6,000 to 10,000 ads every day. Consumers engage with over 10 different pieces of content before making a purchase, as well as B2B buyers consume on average 13 pieces of content before choosing a vendor. Average screen time has increased from 46 minutes per day in 2011 to six hours a day in 2021. These shifts in, in behavior paired with increasing demands of modern campaign management means new challenges for marketing teams that are tasked with curating quality content for the growing number of touch points. For today, we're going to focus on three major challenges facing all creative and marketing teams. Let's look at each of these challenges in a bit more detail. First one is scattered feedback. What do we mean when we say scattered feedback? A fundamental part of our creative process is getting feedback on all our creative assets. It's mission critical for us to get fast, relevant, accurate feedback. Without this, we can't deliver great work and we certainly can't deliver that work quickly. It goes without saying that because we are being asked to deliver more creative assets, we have much more feedback to manage. Unfortunately, the process that most teams use to manage all the feedback is broken and often badly broken. It takes too many versions for us to deliver a single asset, probably double the number that are really needed. It's frustrating to know that we could complete projects much faster. Multiply these issues over all the projects that we are working on and the performance of the creative team suffers badly. In fact, broken feedback processes are responsible for 92% of late projects. To compound the issue, receiving comments and feedback across various channels like email, Slack, Teams, or even in person means teams are forced to waste their time consolidating comments and chasing down approvals rather than working on what they do best, the creative. So what steps can teams take to garner rich, actionable feedback faster? The first is establishing systems of record that welcome feedback. Foster, foster those relationships within shared spaces as a neutral ground on which any and all ideas and perspectives are considered. Eliminate the chase by determining a single destination for feedback. By choosing one system, you'll eliminate disparate feedback that unnecessarily creates extra administrative work for marketing and creative teams. And teams should be clear and specific when providing feedback. 
The feedback should be precise. Identify the exact location, page or frame of the creative asset and what change is required. Solving these challenges provides richer feedback to the creator and gives them the autonomy to deliver their best work. The second challenge facing marketing teams is the lack of visibility. They can't easily track who has provided feedback and when. As a result, it takes a huge amount of their valuable time to manage what should be a straightforward process. Teams are overwhelmed trying to stay on top of everything. At the surface, it may seem simple to implement a process that supports effective collaboration. However, when surveyed, marketers we found otherwise. SciFlow's annual survey of over 100 marketing teams found 53% of creative teams don't have a consistent process for managing review and approval. They cited a lack of structured feedback, making it challenging to action the right feedback quickly. 79% of creative teams encountered regular issues receiving feedback, which comes as no surprise when the lack of transparency may, many teams are experiencing. However, there's good news for creative teams. Implementing processes and workflows is an upfront effort with big payoff. Teams that enabled better visibility and supported the exchange of clear, accurate feedback saw immediate results and gained control of their outcomes. With a feedback workflow in place, creative teams save six hours weekly by reducing administrative tasks like chasing feedback. These same teams cut three hours from their weekly processes by aggregating feedback and communicating, which constitute rich, valuable feedback to those account accountable for their input. Lastly, Creative teams shaved one hour per week off each of their workload by reducing errors and rework associated with feedback. Increasing visibility and control across asset management may seem overwhelming, but teams can easily improve collaboration with some of these tips. First, develop a debrief. Define the project with a summary of what the campaign will include. Give everyone involved an overview, including the purpose of the campaign, assets required, end goal, and milestones. With the right information, each team member can provide appropriate feedback accordingly. Next, stay organized. This one is easier said than done, but keep assets organized. Don't let brainstorms and versions get out of control. Organize assets in relevant files while collaborating so the, up to, the most up-to-date version and historical lookbacks are easily accessible. Staying organized will help teams to recall what worked and what didn't in the future. Provide version transparency. Provide insight into project evolution. Historical transparency in the comments and versions aligns the team to make informed decisions about the final product. Determine accountabilities up front. Ensure every team member knows and buys into what is expected of them and when it is expected. And last, determine the final decision maker. Identify who will be making the final call to avoid stalemates and project fatigue. Our final challenge will review is how marketing teams should adapt to change. We can all agree that change seems to be a part of life for all of us. I'll cover a few of the broad changes marketing teams are experiencing today. Buyers are demanding a cohesive experience across their buying journey, regardless of where they engage with the brand, therefore ensuring that creative campaigns span traditional and non-traditional mediums is more important and more time consuming than ever. We mentioned the need for more creative content earlier. This has put additional pressure on marketing teams to not only increase the quality of the output, but also their velocity. Doing more with, with less. These same teams are forced to do more. A survey of CMOs indicated that they intend to protect their budgets in technology and people with 37% saying they reduced permanent contract or employee headcounts, a decrease in staffing that necessitates smarter collaboration to ensure efficiency. And a 2021 Gallup poll found that 9 in 10 employees want to work remotely to some degree. A lack of true face time requires better collaboration processes to accommodate remote productivity. And to compound these challenges, a survey of marketing teams indicated that nearly half of their technology goes unused, which makes reaching the true potential of these tools impossible. A key reason being that the tools remain disconnected, which requires manual actions to update data and files in the number of tools. Creative teams can usually bucket their tools into three or four categories, such as Adobe Suite, Canva, work management tools like Monday, Asana, ClickUp, storage, cloud storage, Dropbox, Widen, Google Drive, 
and distribution where it goes to digital, print, and multimedia. These amazing platforms typically come with really great native integrations capabilities. An easy one for teams would be to sit down and first map out their creative workflow, then integrate their tools in a way that mirrors their internal creative production process. Teams can maximize business investment while adapting to changes by finding vendors that integrate with where they already are and looking at existing systems and their available integrations. Connected systems have the added benefit of improving adoption across the organization and ultimately speeding up project delivery. The second, working with solutions that are easy to use or those that have accessible help like customer success or a library of user guides. These qualifications will eliminate aggressive onboarding processes or demanding learning curves so that teams can quickly realize the benefits of technology. Finally, leveraging functionality that is easy to integrate into your existing product practices to increase adoption and bridge the gap between remote teams. Let's leave you with some action items to immediately begin delivering exceptional creative faster. Adapting to changing markets. Whether you're exploring new channels, connecting remote teams or streamlining processes, prioritizing testing until you find the right fit for your business is vital. Creatives communicate what clear, actionable feedback looks like to you and hold your teams accountable to providing it. With, with the right feedback, you'll expedite the production for all teams. Implement automated workflows and processes in your tools of choice that eliminate clerical work associated with design and enable appropriate time allocation to creative production to cut through all the noise. And develop standard processes. Set a precedent for workflows, including brief creation, clear accountability, and decision-making, SLAs, and more. Overall, a process will be the frustration-free path to meeting deadlines. And finally, create efficiencies, whether it be expanding on functionality within your existing tech stack, streamlining the delivery and review of feedback, or eliminating friction in the creative process. Think ahead to what can make your team's lives easier so they can focus on what really matters delivering exceptional creative. We hope this presentation was helpful. And if you have any questions or would like to discuss any of the topics we presented today, please reach out to us. We love hearing from you.